The Nourish project is all about creating local sustainable solutions to climate change. The thing about climate change is it seems so abstract. You can get people saying, yeah, yeah, I know it's important, but it's not, I'm worried about now. And the thing about the Nourish project, it is about now and it's about the future. That can be looking at flooding and creating resilience against climate change. It's also tackling food poverty and we know that that's a huge issue even before the cost of living crisis. Whether that's green spaces, whether that's food, whether that's flooding, we're all just trying to get local people involved in creating solutions to those problems. So the challenge for local people when it comes to water sustainability is that they might see you know, pools of standing water, drains overflowing. That is a impact of climate change. So I'm David Eiffel, I'm the Principal Landscape Architect of Groundwork London. SUDS, a Sustainable Urban Drainage Systems, are a great way of controlling climate change at a local level. Instead of water flowing straight down the downpipes and into the drainage network below ground, what happens is a planter will fill up with a certain amount of water and this will be released slowly into the drainage network. So you can see here that there are um, a series of swales and basins um, which are taking runoff from the roofs down through these downpipes which have been disconnected. You'll be capturing and holding the water, not permanently, but just for a, a short length of time, and that leaves the pressure on, the, on everything downstream. It also improves the amenity value of the space, you get lots of fantastic planting, so really good for biodiversity, and it also helps to control flood risk. The Nourish Hub is a place where people can come and eat delicious food on a pay-what-you-can basis. We offer voluntary opportunities for people to learn, and also training opportunities for people to learn about how to reduce food waste, gain cookery skills and knowledge around healthy eating. The ingredients we use, they're all from rescued sources, so from farms, supermarkets, anywhere we can grab it. In this community, we don't have that much access to healthy food, and so it's just a great way for people to get affordable healthy food. The food is absolutely fantastic. It's out of this world. It's delicious. It gives us volunteers the opportunity to be part of something quite special. It's making sure that everyone feels like there are people there for them. Because if people around you are feeling good, you will feel good too. I would say it's about nourishing people with food, nourishing people with company, nourishing people with skills and nourishing them with community. I think it's really, really important for this place. The project is trying to create opportunities for more sustainable green spaces, getting local people involved in the design process and the volunteering process. So I'm a volunteer with the Hammersmith Community Gardens Association and today we've been at the Nourish Hub building and planting in uh, four of the planters just outside on the main road. Getting involved in activities where I live, it, makes me feel like I'm part of the community here. You're not just living and spending time in the space, you're part of it. What we've also been helping employ and upskill local people through our green team traineeship programme who helped maintain and look after the spaces. The green team is a mobile gardening team. The ethos is for a, a green environment. Well, it benefits trainees in the confidence, self-confidence mainly. When they start on the teams, um, you just notice much more of a spring in their step. The best thing about working for the green team is um, I feel a sense of pride. It's like you get a lot of compliments from the neighbours and that. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're, you're making a difference to their, their estate and making people happy. So one of the kind of things to take away from the Nourish project is the way that local people are key to the success of a project, getting their involvement at all those stages, all the way through, and having that kind of two-way flow of communication is, is, is really key. I hope that we have allowed people to get involved in the climate change debate in a really positive and local way. These are all really practical examples of what might seem very abstract climate commitments. All the different partners we've worked with, from the, the local council to the Meanwhile Garden Group to UK Harvest, it's about taking that broader, more holistic view of climate change and looking at how you can work together to help people live more sustainable lives. <laughs>